Welcome back everyone to another Tabletop Core Battle Report with CJ and Josh again. We are here for a quick summary. Summary. Um, Everyone's kind of been liking that, so yeah. we're going to try another one out here. We're going to do some magic versus magic here. The Grey Knights versus Thousand Suns. Haven't played it yet on the channel, so I think it's pretty interesting. Both of these are yours, so you can't play against yourself. That's true. So Josh is going to help me out a lot. I've never played Grey Knights. Um, I don't know exactly how to play the army. I've been killed by the army a bunch, so <laughs> we're going to kind of see what happens, on, at least on my end. But Josh knows what to expect. You play both armies, so... Yeah, that'd be interesting. I'm excited. Um, do you want to go through lists real quick? Yeah, let's do yours first, since I don't know mine very well. So, in my list, I have Leading the Charge and Exalted Sorcerer on disc. He is obviously the Warlord. Warlord. Um, we are playing Cult of Magic. His Warlord trait is from Cult of Magic, which is... Um, Devastating Sorcery for his Warlord trait, uh, for his Relic, he has the Arcane Focus. Cool. Um, I do have him kitted out with a Power Sword and Warflame Pistol, I believe. I'll have to make sure on that. Sure. Um, my troop choice, I have a unit of five Rubrics, standard layout, layout there. Um, elites, I've got my very... Very loved Hellgroot, Last Cannon, Power Scourge combination. We would call him Venerable if we were loyalists. Uh, right. He's trusty. Yeah. <laughs> and then one last unit here of Mollerfiend. And this is um, looks, this is one of the ones I just freshly redid. So Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, man, it looks great. So nice. I mean, the only problem is I don't have to do, redo my whole army almost. But, That's okay. That's okay. Or buy more models, Give you right? something else to do. Yeah. Cool. What do you got going on? Um, so I've got a patrol just like you. Mm -hmm. Today I'm taking a Brotherhood Champion, a model you haven't even ever heard of. I've never heard of it? Well, I've heard of it, but I've never taken it before. <laughs> so he will be my Warlord. I took him just for points, and he's kind of kind of funny. Yeah, it's interesting. So he'll have First to the Fray and Blade of the Forsworn, and no warp shaping, because Josh said I have to know that spell. Yeah, you got to do that, because you got to change the tides. Um, I have one unit of Strike Squads in my Troop Choice. Five of those guys with halberds on all of them. Nothing special. Mm -hmm. um, I did take a unit of four servitors with nothing because they're going to raise banners and hold table quarters. Exactly. Sorry, we had to proxy a little bit. We got some metal steel legion guardsmen here. That's what we got. Um, heavy support is where it gets fun. We have one squad of uh, purgation guys. They have silencers, yeah. all four of them. They know astral aim. And then we know we have this one really big guy. Dread Nemesis Dread Knight. Nemesis Dread Knight. He's got a Dread Fist, which they all have stock, right? Yeah. They have one. Yeah. And then I paid for the sword. Yep. Yeah. Uh, heavy side cannon. I didn't have enough points to pay for the other weapon because I took the servitors. I thought their utility might kind of offset having the other gun. We'll find out. Um, and then he also knows gate. So I think I explained everything. Oh, the Strike Squad knows Gate also. I didn't explain. Yeah, just extra support there on that spell. I don't have anything else to say about the army. What tide am I supposed to start in? Well, we on the roll off. We're playing patrol, right? In the FAQ, we are playing those rules in the five patrols, even though they didn't get put there. So I won the roll off. I'm going first. So if, if your opponent's going first, you probably want to start in Tide of Shadows. That's the one that makes it harder to shoot me, or I get more. Right. Armor? So yeah, if you're in, if you're in. Um, if you're in cover, it's minus one to hit you. Okay. But you always count as being in cover, so you get your plus one to saves. Okay. I'll be in tight of yeah. that. Um, secondaries. Or, sorry, mission. What mission are we playing? Uh, in circle? No. Outriders. Outriders. We're yeah, playing Outriders. Outriders. Yep. Um, so we have four table quarters, one objective, and equally spaced out in each. Mm -hmm. um, we have to be nine inches back from the center. Neither of us took the... The mission specific secondary, and it's just the normal primary system. So five mm -hmm. for one objective, ten points for two objectives, and fifteen for more. I always say three, but fifteen points for more than your opponent. Now we can do secondaries. What'd you take? Yeah, so we're actually playing, and we're playing the tactical. Oh, yeah. We're playing the tactical tortoise version of secondaries here. We've reached yeah, we're kind of taking a deep dive into secondaries and yeah. different ways to play. So, um, so I gotta remember what I got. You gotta you got Assassinate. Yes, yeah, right. I took Assassinate, um, which in, with the Tactical Taurus rules, um, six points for enemy character, mm -hmm. and then three points if it was the Warlord at the end of the so battle. Nine, so it right. could be, yeah, nine points, basically. Um, while we stand, while we fight, which is going to be in my um, Mauler Fiend, my Warlord, mm -hmm. and my Hellbrute. 
Yes. And then raise banners. Banners. Yep. Banners, banners, banners. Um, I've taken bring it down, uh, engage on all fronts, and uh, raise the banners high. Just because it's kind of what I always take. Um, I like the tactical tortoise secondaries. I think they're a little more balanced for combat patrols. So Yeah. We're going to roll them today. Um, deployment? I won the roll off. Defender. For, for, yeah, for attack and defender. I chose defender. Sure. Pick this side. Just kind of put everybody behind this building over here. Um, we are playing this as an actual building. Mm -hmm. So cannot see through it, obviously. Line of sight blocking. This one, too. Same thing over there with that one on CJ's side. And then these were just line of sight blocking on any of these rocks that we've yep. got yep. up yep. here. So... Um, and then the trees are dense. Yeah, of course, are dense, course. obviously. So. Of course, they're dense. All right, so deployment for the Grey Knights. Yeah. We'll have one strike squad on this side looking over here. We get the Dread Knight because he's hidden behind everything. Our servitors are back here on this, mm -hmm. doing what they're going to do for 28 points raise a banner, engage. We have my character and my purgation squad that can see through stuff if they cast their spell, right? Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Not for me, but whatever. <laughs> Um, like Josh said, we already rolled off, and Josh got first turn, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So we'll be back for summaries of battle rounds, and we'll do pictures and stuff like that. So catch ya. So after my turn one, I it was pretty uneventful, obviously. <laughs> um, my Mauler Fiend moved his 10 inches over here. Uh, my Rubrics rearranged just a little bit to get a little bit of range, but there was still within 3 inches of... Sure the objective to raise their banner yeah um hellbrook came over here to try to do that um, objective which we have and then in psychic phase um we got our warp time and dialogue strength off on our mauler fiend so he kind of moved over this way mm -hmm. and then again headed towards that way and then that was it <laughs> there's no other psychic i could do so well yeah shooting phase and then shooting um my hellbrook Hellbrute shot his laser cannon. A laser cannon. Into uh, the Dread Knight over there. Um, hit once, wounded, and but Mr. C Day rolled a save, so mm. I had to spend a CP to get it. Well, that's true. But so. no damage was exchanged cool. other than a couple moves. So No points. That's it, no points. Be right back. Alright, so we're back after Grey Knight's turn one. Um, movement, shuffle across the board. There was a Mauler Fiend here. We wanted to fight against that thing. Um, so Psychic Phase, we went to the Tide that does Smites. So Smitey Smite, as tide you like to say. Tide um, We put four wounds on the Mauler Fiend. Then uh, we gated him. Strike Squad gated him because one, they engage. Two, we thought we could make the charge because we have first the fray. Mm -hmm. But we'll get to that. Um, Astralame on the Purgators. Mm -hmm. They shot over here. We dropped it down a whole bunch of wounds and killed Had two it. left. Yep. Killed it in shooting with the Dread Knight. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we tried to charge, but we didn't make it on either charge roll. But it is three points for a gauge. He's probably going to die and give up nine points, but he's going to take the focus of your army. Um, so there is that. We are holding the same number, so. Scoring wise, you won't outpace me too fast. It's going the way I thought it was going to go, but yeah. We'll back. All right, let's go. Okay, at the end of my turn two, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, kind of forced me to spend some extra CP that I didn't want to, but I had to be. I had to be sure that I killed his warlord that came over here because it does net me nine points total using the tactical Taurus rolls on assassinate. Yep, yep, yep. So. Um, Rubrics move back. They tried to do a smite. It failed. The Gulf Sorcerer had moved over here. He did a smite. He denied. Did a National Blast. That went through. Um, but oh, I did well, You did Infernal Gateway. Oh, yeah. Chaos Familiar yeah, then to Infernal Gateway. Right. They did. The Rubrics did Astral Blast. It failed. Yes. Uh, went over to Exalted. He did a smite. He denied it. I did Chaos Familiar to swap out. Warp time with Infernal Gateway, which I that successfully went through, um, but still didn't kill him in the psychic phase, so I had to go back to shooting. Then Rubrics failed. The the Exalted did one wound. 
I think. Yes. And then yes. I had to, again, spend one more CP just to make sure he died and did Fire Frenzy with my Hellbrute who didn't move. Um, so he fired his weapons twice. So Four last cans to the face. Three wounds. And still, only, CP. Yeah. and still only one wound went through. Just one. Whew. He was tough. It's just enough. He didn't get to do his thing, but that's fine. It would have been interesting, too, because that, that model is only 98 points. and I, Yeah, 93, I think. And it, it's got some cool. interesting stuff he can do, so I'll have to look into that. I like finding these shows. oddball characters like yeah. this. So Cool. We'll be back for Grey Knight's turn two. Yep. All right, so end of turn for Grey Knight's turn dose. Um, these guys moved over here. Strike Squad, raised a banner. Servitors stayed put to hold the objective. Burgers move forward just to get range on some stuff. Um, I did shuffle him, but we went to psychic phase. Um, they jumped him. Mm -hmm. He smited, did two damage. Uh, they purgators astral aim themselves. Um, they split fire. The one three could shoot here at the rubrics. Rubrics. We got them down to one. The other one purgator and the one sergeant with the storm bolter had to shoot the hellbrute. We didn't cause any damage, and you only have the pissed off thing if you take wounds, right? Yeah, if it suffers any mortal, if it suffers any unsafe damage. Gotcha. Um, so that's it. I don't have any end of turn scoring because I wasn't able to get over the line here. I wasn't able to make the charge to engage. Um, and Josh passed morale on his last rubric. I don't think there's anything else for me. Not that I can think of cool. either. Be back for your turn three? Yep. At the end of my turn three, well, my turn three, I didn't really move anything other than I kind of shuffled these guys mm -hmm. around a little bit. Um, got to sidekick, got an astral blast off, did some wounds. Mr. Um, Warlord here got a super smite off and rolled damage, rolled the max six plus his one from the Death Tank Sorcery. So he did seven mortal wounds smite here. Yep. He got an ash, he got a infernal gateway off that did a couple more wounds. Yep. And then, um, so we were able to shave off 11 of the, <laughs> uh, of the, uh, Dread Knight's 12 wounds How in annoying. Psychic. Shooting, complete bust. Uh, tried to shoot their pistols, both failed into the Dread Knight. Uh, Hellbrute shot his last cannon into the boys over there, the Purgation squad. Yeah. Got one wound through, killed the sergeant. Then we got a charge off. I did veterans, so I was hitting on threes, wounding on twos. Yeah. It completely went through all the way, other than he saved both of his saves. So All three, all of, three of his saves. I so. forgot one, two. But. Uh, that was it. But he is severely bracketed, and now he's engaged in <laughs> combat. So We're going to shoot you, though. He can shoot me in combat, yeah. But. All right. Be back for That's my it. turn? Yep. All right. Grey Knight's turn, whatever it is. Turn three. Uh, movement. Everything just shuffled. Purgators went up across the center line. Oh, they didn't move. Servitors. Uh, strike Squad moved over. He was stuck in combat, so we got to Psychic Phase. He's smitten the one Rubric Sorcerer left. He smote him. He smote him down. Um, they cast Gate on him for a measly one extra inch. <laughs> and those guys Astral aimed themselves in case they were going to shoot through to the Hell Group, but they ended up not having to. So we moved on the shooting. Uh, Dread and I did no hits, right? Right, no hits. No hits, no wounds, because he hits on fives. These guys didn't shoot. And those I ended up shooting at the Sorcerer Supreme. Yep, and took three wounds off. Three of wounds off, which was pretty good. Um, so then we got to charge phase. Dread and I tried to charge, failed. Had to spend my one CP. Got a 12 the second time around. Uh, so we made it in and uh, chopped the Sorcerer up. Chop, 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 chop. Um, so that's my turn. I did get five points for engage because I'm in all four table quarters now. And so we're going to move on to Josh's. Yeah, this game's, this game's done. You're going to get 15 points for the rest of the, the next two rounds. So, But we we'll get to double shoot this. We'll finish it out and no. have some fun at least. All right, get you back. Okay, I had one model left, which is the Hell Brute. So he left that objective over there, moved his eight inches here, was able to shave off... A couple of purg purgators got a charge in on the Dread Knight. Was able to kind of sneak back in here a little bit. Killed the Dread Knight in combat. Um, the Power Scourge is just 
gross. He had eight attacks on the charge with the power scourge, so really good. Um, killed the dread knight. Dread knights don't blow up, thankfully. Uh... Don't fix that rule, JW, please. And then <laughs> what is consolidate? Moved a little bit farther in, so we do have this objective again at least. So I have morale because you killed two, and you got morale, yeah. So seven minus two is five. They're fine. Purgation squad is good. Um, that's it. We'll be back for CJ's turn. Cool. All right, so we're back for the end of the game. Um, to talk about scoring real quick, I think Josh ended up with 30 primaries, 16 secondaries for 46 points plus 10 for paint is 56. Um, I ended up with 50 primary points, 33 secondary points for 83 plus 10 paint is 93. Uh, so what are your thoughts? I mean, it did what I thought it was going to do, which I can't be sad. I love both these armies, and that's why they're both yours. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, but I mean, it went the way that I thought it would go. I never thought about using, building the list like CJ did. But again, one wounds versus one wounds. I always like to go for more wounds if, like, if I'm going against, you yeah. know, Primaris or something with two wounds. But I think on paper we... Yeah. We matched up pretty equally because we're yeah. both old school one wound marines. We both kind of yeah. do the same thing. Um, I like the Mauler Fiend. Obviously, I think the two Helberts is stronger, but yeah. in Tactical Tortoise, you can only run one of each choice unless it's a troop. Right. They have that rule of two um, because the two Helberts is very strong. That list that you bring in Combat Patrol. Um, so the Mauler Fiend is good. He just got taken out turn one. Yeah, I mean, I probably. If I had moved him, if I had the deployment had been a little bit different, I probably would have taken him that way instead. He could have got done something in, but it's know. it's tough to know when yeah. exactly to be aggressive and when not to be aggressive. Yeah, in this, um, we found I don't the Grey Knights always do really well in combat patrol. I think I think we might have had a few games where they were kind of a dud, maybe in there. But anytime you bring a Dread Knight, whether it's the big boy boss headquarters one or this one um they're just they're so distracting they're so powerful uh, and i think it helps kind of letting someone else take a look at how to build an army they don't play mm -hmm. and that you do play because we see different things yeah like because i always like to find those stupid characters yeah. that no one uses now granted i was a little too aggressive if he had gotten the charge off he would have destroyed oh some people. yeah he would have the game would have been over quicker absolutely but Squeezing in the servitors, um, basically at the price of an extra gun on this yeah. is huge because they sat back here and they scored us five points every single turn and they raised the banner on the first turn and they 28 points. Yeah, I mean, that's what it seems. That, and I say it all the time. Um, more units you can get in the thing is better because you can play the objectives, right? Especially if it's a take and hold. Yeah, the number of units you can bring yeah. to a combat patrol. Yeah, that's where it is. It, it always almost always comes down to that. From what I can tell, in our games at least. Oh, yeah. Unless you just have crazy good firepower from your army yeah. to go through super weak troops. But uh, I think we need to pick up some servitor models. Yeah. Because they should, you should have a unit in every Space Marine army. Like, maybe not in your particular list at the time, but you need to have access to them. Yeah, but I mean, 28 points, and that ended up scoring you 30 victory Five, points. 10, 15, yeah, yeah, at least. Or yeah. 25 victory points by themselves. Yeah. Just by sitting there and spending 20. Using the banner, yeah. so. Definitely worth it. We were yeah. concerned about taking an extra gun off of the Dread Knight, but ultimately it really didn't matter. No. Nah. Um, so. And the, you know, the funny thing is, you, when your guy came over here, I killed your other guy who had warp shaping, and that didn't, I mean. It didn't even matter. Yeah, it didn't matter <laughs> at all, which was the big thing we had, the Grey Knights. Yeah. We Grey Knights players have over, you know, Chaos players with the Demon Engine and stuff. Right. This game went almost the exact opposite of how my Grey Knights versus your Red Corsairs game went. Or went about the same way. Yeah. 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 Just not as quick. But Oh yeah. Yeah, those Dread Knights are so good. So, uh, If you're looking for a very good easy to get into Combat Patrol army that is just going to mop people up, I would pick up Grey Knights. Even though their book's not out yet. Um, so like what? One box of Strike Squad guys gets you your five Purgators and your five Strike Squad yeah, guys. Yeah, yep. Um, you need to get a box of servitors. Maybe use Arco Flagellants. We're talking about that. Mm -hmm. Find something because the metal models suck. Um, you're going to need one extra guy, headquarter choice of some choice, and then this thing. So you're looking at like 200 bucks 
is about that. Yeah, 50, right around there. Yeah, probably 150, 200 bucks to get into Combat Patrol. And that's why it's great, in, in my opinion. But I don't know. I agree. I mean, and I always say they really need to go first, but in this case, they didn't go first. And I don't, I, yeah, it's the way the army list was composed. Deploy very. Uh, yeah, I was very not aggressive this game, other than that one guy. But um, I don't have much else to talk about, other than tactical tortoise is great because their secondary system lets you run up the score. You get a lot more play from yeah. the secondaries. Um, so I really like their system. Uh, you have anything else you want to talk about? Uh, I got nothing else. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. Hit us up on social media. Instagram is what we mainly use. We touch Facebook and Twitter uh, just because it's there. Um, but if you want to talk to us, get us on, on Instagram for sure. Yeah. Um, let us know what you're working on, what kind of army list you like to take in Combat Patrol, what works for you, what doesn't, because that I want to see that. Because we'll... We probably need to pick up another um, variety of army to start playing. Yeah, I think we've had almost every combination we can think we're, of now. We're almost there. We're looking. What did we talk about? We need a Grey Knights and uh, orcs. orcs. Oh, yeah. Grey Knights and Orcs. Yeah. All those silencers. Daka, 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 daka. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. supposed to be running five rubrics in that thing six rubrics in that thing not five but that was dumb oh, we always do that. <laughs> wasn't there a game you didn't even put your rhinos on the table yeah. with the like two of them right yeah <laughs>